This is Roll With It Unplugged, a casual take on telling improvised stories through role-playing games. Today's episode is the second of a three-part series featuring Lasers and Feelings by John Harper of 1-7 Design. Adam Doc Bracken is joined by Sarah Wells and GM Brian McKittrick. Last time on Lasers and Feelings, intrepid explorers and uh, daring agents of the consortium, Grebo it's Ipswich, uh, weirdly gray alien explorer and dangerous, dangerous. dangerous. Sorry, dangerous. Not alien. He's a meme. Just a meme. Maybe. <laughs> and hotshot pilot Dash Stormbringer. Can't forget that. Wow, that's really appropriate, considering that you have been trapped on Nebraska by a strange and inexplicable stationary hurricane. Maybe it's my cousins. Oh no, I don't want to see my family! Trapped in a uh, vehicle plant or vehicle station for Nebraska Prime, they were suddenly ambushed by cyber zombies. Dun dun dun. I'd have been embarrassed if it had been slowly ambushed. Yeah. Maybe they've been following you for hours. I'm just like, can't catch up. <laughs> we shoot them. Mm. You want you want to shoot them? Oh yeah, no hesitation. Oh, All right, yeah. um, definitely. I set my lasers from stun to kill. Yup. Uh, mm-hmm. This is a. I'm guessing it's quick quick reflexes. So both of you roll feelings. Feelings. You're not prepared. Um, and I think only Doc is an expert in shooting things, really. But I'm a hot shot. It says I so. am a dangerous explorer. Yes. So, yes. But you're you're more used to shooting guns on a ship, not uh, pistol guns. Uh, you don't need to shoot pistol guns if you blow them up in space. It's true. That's why I like doing it. Uh, oddly enough, I passed with two. On feelings? Yes. You need to roll high for feelings. Oh. You failed. No, I failed. That's Terribly. Bad. Okay. Yeah. I was very precise in my uh, shooting of them. Pew, pew, pew. And you miss entirely. Why? Well, maybe I hit them in a place that zombies don't care. <laughs> you, you, you shoot off uh, buttons yes. and belt buckles, but they, it doesn't do anything. Sure. What did you get? I got a five. Mine is a four. So I guess I barely managed. You barely so. manage it. So you do... You don't man- shot dash. You, you manage to keep them at bay for a little longer. That's right. But you can see through the doorway. Um, there is you can't. There, there are just cyber zombies as far as you can see, which immediately isn't too far because of the storm and everything. But there's a lot more than you can handle. Okay, to the tunnels. But but we don't have back suits. Sucks to be you. <laughs> You're just going to abandon them to their fate? <laughs> Maybe we should try again to shoot. Close the door. Make yeah. sure no more come in. Close the door. Someone, yeah, someone needs I to close the door. I shout to the farmer. Which farmer? Uh, Billy Ray's, uh, the Billy Joe Space Ray? Yeah. We the, could try closing the door ourselves. The I'm not dummy sure who that opened capable. it and is probably still standing close to it. And now he got dragged away and torn apart. Oh, oh, oh. you failed to mention that. Um, no, I mentioned it last episode. Oh, did you? Did. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Um... Is there a small innocent child or anything like that? We have a red shirt. Hey, perfect. He's essentially a small innocent child. So that's a good point. Uh, what was his name? Ensign we... Ding Dong? I don't remember his name. What was his name? Uh, we had like three names for potential red shirts before we in, started. Ensign Heinlein. <laughs> yes? But, yes sir. Don't shut that door, man. Hug. <laughs> uh, He's gonna die. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he died. He died horribly. Right away, sir. <laughs> of course, this gives us time to prepare to shoot more zombies, right? Right? I'll allow it. <laughs> yes. Excellent. So that's three guys for. But it, unless. If you're just gonna fire blindly into the crowd, that's gonna be feelings. Otherwise, just. You may take a different tact. I, oh, how many zombies are there? Too many. That's not... Narratively, too many. I could fire at the closest one. 
Yes. Uh, Specific. Fire at some element of the barn's structure so that it collapses onto the zombies. There yeah, but then go. there'll be a hole in the wall for more zombies to come through. And if you just block off the door. Right. Okay, so we're shooting to block, so shoot to block off the door, that sounds yeah. like, mm-hmm. that sounds like a plan. So, um, okay. some and kind of space barrels now. from the upper loft to, uh, corn tato oil. Corn tato oil. There we go. Corn oil. Highly flammable. I like it. Excellent. <laughs> this is great. Okay, so. Cornithol. So we're firing at that. Now, that will, now, no, that's going to be Did lasers, you, though. Yeah, That's lasers. lasers. Did you succeed? I had one success. You had one success? Let me let me try, or should we save that action for? Do you want to try to assist him? Yeah, I want to try to assist him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so two dice for two lasers dice. for you. Two dice for lasers. Lasers! I got one. So you do succeed in the assisting him. So you get to roll one more die. Roll one. More. Yes. All right. All right. There you we succeed go. Um, admirably. Uh, so yeah, the the cornethal goes off. Um, and the 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 door fu- uh, slams and fuses shut, uh, preventing any more space uh, cyber zombies uh, getting through. And the the one that managed to stumble shamble his way in is consumed by the ball of fire. Now you're stuck inside uh, with five uh, space farm or Nebraskan farmers, um, and you know that there are lots of som- cyber zombies outside, and it might be you don't know how long. They'll be outside and not inside. The safest place for you all is to stay right here. Hey, yeah, we've been here for like three days. We know that. now, But now there's cyber zombies. That's new. Yes. We could try to reinforce the structure before we head for the tunnels to try and stop the source of this thing. Why? <laughs> To but why should we help protect the people that to are To protect innocent. the innocent. Right. I that think it's under the compassion. consortium directives. All oh, right. I think I think it's in like 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 forty seven B twelve of like the one secondary of the directive. I, I was sleeping in that class, but I distinctly remember the teacher rapping on my desk and awakening me. I'd like to search my feelings to right know if when it's that true. Was it's true. Coming. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's part of the secondary directive, right after the prime one. All right. I mean, just because I was sleeping in class doesn't mean that I don't know them. You were class. sent here to help them. Right? Remember <laughs> right, that? but we're out of incense. There's possibly the two structure. dozen somewhere in a clown car. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. It doesn't help us here. I really want them to come back at a narratively oh, beneficial Oh, don't worry. <laughs> okay. For us, not... There's still somewhere. For us. <laughs> beneficial for us. We'll see. You have farming equipment, um, there is a tractor, there is a bunch of stuff that you could use if you wish. Alright, then we will we will reinforce these walls so we can abandon them without guilt. Back up the space tractor in front of also, the door. So we can, also so we can abandon them without any trouble if this is investigated later. Right. Yes! Well done. <laughs> the report is going to be terrible. Yeah, that that, that last time. We've already had one that's in death. Oof. I'm just saying, if they, if there's a few pages missing from this one, that's not the something that I'm going to know anything about. The, the space, the last the space paperwork. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it, it's Star. It's like Star Wars. You don't have paper in there in the future. It's all hollow. Mm-hmm. The holocron work. Very well. We shall reinforce. Can we make the holograms do the holocron work? <laughs> While we play video games. What, uh... This will be feelings, um... You've done this kind of thing before, so you are an expert in barricading the tunnel behind you before the ravenous natives, the space natives, come after you after you've stolen the precious treasure. You say so. You're a a dangerous explorer. I'm dangerous. I'm not gonna waste time (laughs) doing stuff like reinforcing things. That's a good point. So, you don't get a bonus. You get one die. Well, good. I talked myself out of it. Yep. Good job. (laughs) I, I just want to point out that I like to jailbreak entire spaceships. That's true. Can you reprogram this barn to defend itself? <laughs> That's a good well, there, idea. There is an automated tractor machine. I love that. Combination tractor harvester sort of device. It, it has an AI. You could jailbreak that. Ooh. I like it. How many dice do I get? You get two dice. One for, one base and one for being an expert in jailbreaking things. Yay me. And this is feelings? Uh, this is lasers. This has got to be lasers. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I rolled a one and she rolled two sixes. I'm so you succeed. Thing. You only... There's it's this primitive technology. I mean, who even, you can't even uses get past the windows screen. anymore? You can't even get past the lock screen. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, you barely succeed. Uh, you just push the tractor in front of it. It's like, yeah, that's good. Good to get going. So you don your, your vac suit helmets and enter the water for the tunnels. Um, so you, you do have, like, flashlights in your helmets, so you do get to see sort of in front of you. The water oh, is the water is murky. It's, lasers fire underwater, right? Yes, but these are phasers you're using. So we'll, we, have, we have yet to see if phasers work underwater. It does say phase beam pistol. It's a variable beam, beam phase, phase pistol. That's what it says. So um, how would you like to navigate the tunnels? Are you just going to pick uh, turns at random? Are you going to look for... I'm going to trust my feelings. You're going to this use feelings... This would be his area of expertise. To, to, you're just he is an explorer. Gut yes. instinct. Yes. Like, I've use, been in tunnels before. I'm going to use my gut. Uh, to die feelings. I got this. I want to find the other red shirts. Uh, one success. One success? One success. Um, colony habitats have like a standard base model. Like it's just a kit that you done. You just put it down on the ground, push a button, it unfolds and builds itself. Really nice. Um, so you you know that space key has come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> space <Spacica. laughs> Yes. Can that be a planet next time? <laughs> From space space wind. That space needs to Sweden. be a planet next time. S- space Norway. Yeah, space weed. Yeah, they were the colonists. It was colonized by Space Norway. Mm-hmm. And funded by Space Ikea. No, the name of the planet is Space Ikea. Oh. Space Ikea. Yeah, so, um, yes, these kits all have a, a standard template that they build from, but you don't have the manual. And even if you did, it wouldn't have what? the manual to, like, you know, putting it together. Like Wait, slot A, together? tunnel in A. The tunnels? It's an IKEA kit, a template or a kit, so it's got to have like a little oh dear. textless uh, instruction booklet. Cartoons. It yeah. can't be that hard. But a, you don't <laughs> have it, and b, you have never memorized those tunnels because you're dangerous. You don't have time for mes- memorization, so you're still kind of blind. But you know that eventually there's got to be a way out, and eventually, maybe all the tunnels lead to one central location. Is it the where you want to go? Who knows? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's head toward the center. Okay. Um, you enter. Uh, you 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 go along the tunnels. Um, uh, eventually, you reach a point where there is a ladder going up to what is essentially a water treatment plant. Perfect. We did it. Yay! You, you have helmets on. You have radios, so it's more it's more nasally because it's going through cops. Perfect. We did it. These are not the droids we're looking for. <laughs> Let's head up the ladder. <laughs> Copy that. Roger, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, we pop out the hatch. Mm-hmm. Where, where do we find ourselves? You are in the water treatment plant for the colony. Aha! Uh, there are uh, vats of, of liquids and tanks and all sorts of equipment that you're not familiar with because this is colonist work. You don't do this kind of thing. You're an explorer. We should look and see if those chemicals that are affecting the rain can be found anywhere in here. We should see if anybody was messing with the water supply and if we can find out evidence of that. Good thinking, Dash. Hmm. Dash what? You didn't finish your sentence. Storm. <laughs> Am I not supposed to be giving my hand? Oh, I heard it as a, as a the, the Dash, like, oh. when you're typing. <laughs> like, Dash, what? It's my name! Like, you're compounding two words together. It's my name! It's confusing if he doesn't say it. The narrator is making fun of our names. They, I is. can make fun of whatever I want. Dance puppets. <laughs> right. I will help Dash scan per the previous... Uh, so you're helping her uh, investigate the, the water sample. Let's triangulate our scanners again, as we did before, so that the quadtastic neurons of uh, tachyon energy can interface with the uh, temporal node. Cool, I've been wanting to try out my new rig. In other words, <laughs> setting two. <laughs> okay, so... How many dice do we This get? is lasers, um, right? Yeah, this is lasers. You... I should lasers. First, you should roll to help her. 
Uh, two die replacements. Help me. All right. Yeah, I'm helping you. Okay. Uh, and I, mean, I, did you I got a laser you? feeling. But no successes? But no successes. Oh. Um, ask a question. In helping, do I still get to ask the question? Yeah, I'll say so. Okay. Um, but you don't have the option to re-roll, though. Gotcha. You can normally re-roll? Well, uh, with, when you get laser feelings, um, unless, unless you're... I, I, I'll rule that when you're helping someone, mm-hmm. you, you can still ask the question, but... You really can't change your action to continue helping. Right, but normally you can re-roll when you get laser feelings? Uh, if you get laser feelings, you can get more information from the question and then change your action and take a different task. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Well, we've not done that, so... We have. Oh. She has, at least. Well, I, I did not. That's my point. I didn't want to. Well, what's your question? Was that your question? Okay. No. <laughs> um, what should we be on the lookout for? Um, more cyber zombies, yes. Um, but the... You've dealt with cyber zombies before. They aren't a new thing. They've been around for centuries. We can't can't get a ri- rid of them. They just keep co- cropping up, uh, cropping up in the, like, the popular culture. Like triples? No. <laughs> Tribble- are, they, are they nanite driven? Now that's the thing you need to look out for. What drives them? Are they controlled by a central hub? Do they have a hive mind? Is it something else that's puppeting them? Who knows? That's what you need to look out for. Ah, okay. Because that will determine what kind of actions you need to take to defeat them. Well, the storm is probably keeping us away from whoever's running the cyber zombie swarm. Well, so he did not succeed in helping you, but you still can roll two dice lasers. Lasers! Come on, lasers! I got one success. So you, you do man barely succeed. Um, you, uh, you do take a water sample and do more uh, intensive tests on it. Um, the chemical that... Uh, acts as an evaporation catalyst um, is also acting upon um, it is also designed to interfere uh, to interfere with human brain processes in some way you don't know how but it's where red shirts come from <laughs> <laughs> silent red is people <laughs> really dumb people <laughs> they actually like Insert this to themselves. <laughs> they, they, but it's probably a bad idea to drink this stuff. Okay. Do we have anything that can, like, purify water? I don't think we do. You're not feeling thirsty right now, so it's not important. That's good. But for the continued health of the colony, it would probably be a bad idea if this was left unchecked. So we should do something about this thing. I'll blast it with my laser. I'm not sure that that's <laughs> Just the best Just shoot the water processing. Of... Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure that's well, the The motor. The motor. The, the thing that's that's cycling the water. Maybe we should try to disable the uh, chemical additives instead. Like that's the addition a, 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 of the chemicals. You want to create an antidote. That would be cool. But I meant, like, stop the chemicals from going into the water. Like, like stopping the storm? I mean, I the chemicals the are there. My, There's got to be... Yeah. Two dice. Right. Excellent. Two successes. <laughs> And Ooh. the water processing plant is non-functional now. Good job. Excellent. What was that supposed to accomplish? <laughs> it, uh, it, it will keep the bad water from reaching the good people. Once this thing is over, <laughs> they can repair it. The bad water is in the rain and everywhere. And being collected and filtered through this water processing plant. Face palm. Sure. We'll go with that. We've eliminated that as a possibility. Did you realize this is only one of the processing plants? You know, a colony this size needs at least a dozen. But well, we're safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do next? You were saying something about... How much closer are we to the... Are we actually in the eye of the storm? Is the water processing plant in the you eye? You don't know. You're still underground. Okay, so we need to climb up and see where we are. Okay. Let's go out the door. Let's not go out the door. Are there windows? Um, you are in essentially what is like the 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 industrial sector of. Oh, so there's catwalks and high windows and railings and big ledges. Excellent. Let's go up uh, up the catwalk and the high railing and look stand out the dangerous to the close to the edge. No, we look out the window. Okay. Um, there's rain, and that's all you see. So because it's still rain. Oh, wait. There is rain, but you can tell that 
where you are is the heaviest, which tells you that you're really close to the eye of the storm. Oh, no, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm wrong. You're in the eye of the storm now, because the edge of the eye was the outskirts of the city. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, you're now in the center of the city. Okay, so there's no rain. Yes. Okay. So, say that again. There's no rain. It, you see um, clear daylight. Um, you see the rest of the uh, structures within the city, uh, and the the wall of rain and wind that is um, surrounding it. Um you don't see any build, uh, people in this building, um, and it looks like there aren't any automated uh, vehicles or pedestrians in the streets. Mm-hmm. What would you like to do now? You do see the uh, central, uh, basically the 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 command s- center. Yeah. Okay. Let's walk brazenly towards it. Open daylight. Yeah. Or we could sneak over there. Ah. Try to stay out of sight of whoever, whatever is causing this. I'm storm. dangerous. Kick open the door. Let's go. All right. Uh, the door. Uh, My well, laser set to stun. I mean, kill. Give me a two Definitely die. Definitely kill. Feelings roll for reasons. One success. Um, Should I have one too, or the door does kick open? However, it was the emergency exit door. You set off the alarm. Ah. And you can shoot it out if you want and stop it. I'll shoot out the alarm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make you roll for that because that's easy. Uh, However, you succeed in getting out of the building because it was locked. Um, The complication is the alarm goes off and about two seconds later, every door in the street opens and cyber zombies appear and start coming towards you. We're going back inside and barricading the door, yes? No, we can make it. And I run. (laughs) <laughs> are you running with him? I don't know. How close are the cyber zombies? Actually, you know what? How fast are these cyber zombies? Are they like zo- normal zombie speed, like shamblers? Or are they fast zombies? We would have figured that out, I imagine, at this point. Cyber implies slow, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Cyber implies also weaponry. True. That's a problem. So they're slow, but they have essentially what are phase pistols in their hands. So they are cyber no, <laughs> you're not going to pull out gold and kill them. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> but it's funny. There's no gold in Nebraska anyway. <laughs> Golden fields of corn and wheat. Doesn't count. That's the right color. That's co- it's And it's cortados and... Golden fields of delicious corn tatoes. And turbumbers. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Mashed, mashed corn taters. You're going, mashed popcorn You've taters. got about a minute before they fill the street entirely. Um, I'm going to head straight for the central command. I'm going to... Shooting all the way. Okay. I will do the same because it looks cool. Bobbing and weaving and every now and then doing um, kind of a roll on the ground, you know, where you, you duck and roll mm-hmm. just because it's awesome. Yeah. Not really so much, you know, to, to avoid the lasers. Yeah, yeah. Um... I think it's a two die feelings roll for both. Oh dear. I don't want to die. Oh, good. Actually, I got a success and a laser feeling. Oh, you get two laser feelings. So, you each get a question. Okay. You may change your action based on the answer. Excellent. Um, what sort of question do I want to ask? Wait, what are we running for again? Not you. I'm not asking the, the you. I'm asking command. him. The central or command. The central command. Um, mm. Are these things being created by the water? Brian's got his thinking face on. The answer is yes, but I'm trying to put it in a good way that like okay. sounds like a narrator. Um, yes. You realize, upon ingestion of the compound in the water, um, it slowly but surely enslaves the, the, the victim's mind and begins creating living metal constructs within its body. Eventually, it takes about two days for the process to be complete and the victim to become a cyber zombie, intent on um, enslaving slash uh, eliminating any threats to it or its purpose, which is still unknown. 
So from that, you know that they're not going to try to kill you. Their, their guns are set to stun. Only because they want to assimilate you, essentially. Okay. Okay. Resistance is futile. All right. Uh, I am. Resistance is futile, y'all. Because <laughs> <laughs> these are Nebraskian cyber zombies. Right. Nebraska and they look like Nebraskians. Yeah. Now they, that we see them. Overall, straw hats and oh. red cyber eye things. Why does that make it sadder? I don't know. I think it makes it look jaunty. Like, it's farming Borg. <laughs> Wow. They're Transformers. <laughs> wow. Farmers in disguise? <laughs> yes. Farmers with disc eyes, that's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, Someone gets another question. That's right. Oh, I'm glad it's you. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask uh, if, ask where the, uh, person or persons or force behind this is actually hiding? Oh, good question. Um, well, you already knew that whatever was happening was probably going to happen at the center of the storm, which you are at. Mm -hmm. Um, but you see that of all the structures within the habitat, um, most are, uh, powered down when no lights are on or only emergency lights on. The only one with systems running is the central command set structure, um, specifically the uh, facilities at the top floor, um, which house basically the communications array and transmitters. Is the central communication... You already asked a question. No, I, this is not that kind of question. <laughs> is the central communication um, building what is left of the original spaceship, colonists' spaceship, that came to this world? Um, well, the whole habitat technically is, because it's right. like a big kit that comes down, lands, and opens up. Okay. So, but that's like the, the bridge, the forward, the, it had all the technical stuff. Yeah. This it. is, so this is the bridge of the colony. This is colony. It's still the command center. Yeah. Of the ship. That is now the command center of the colony. Yes. Okay. Do you want to take a different action to get a reroll? Yes. What would you like to do instead of running through the zombies? Um, I want to grab the nearest thresher. And start threshing j zombies. Ooh. Just hop in the thresher and just... And start threshing. Yeah. They, they were people once. We could save them. You but know now we right. know they're not anymore. Uh, That's debatable. I didn't say that. That is so debatable. Why did they say it wasn't reversible? You said they were Nebraskians. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. which are they? Nebraskians or are they people? What? <laughs> what? I see how it is. <laughs> You know, You're not running for my politician office, are you? My grandmother came from Nebraska. Uh, no, Nebraska. no, I'm a dangerous explorer, sir. Weirdly gray. So when you retire, you'll go into politics. Yeah, there you go. And get yeah. a lot of conservative support. Mm -hmm. So what do I roll for the thresher thing? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're going to Well, that's cold-hearted and cruel, so I'm going to say lasers. Excellent. How many? Two. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, I succeed. Oh no! A one and a six. That's kind of... Can I try to stop him? Um... If you want. I'm torn between, like, party loyalty and, oh my gosh, this is terrible. They're zombies. We can save them. Nobody can save zombies. We don't know that in this no case. No one can save Nebraskans. I mean zombies. <laughs> <laughs> They're lost. They're terrible. Listen, we're talking about oh. a horde of massive, mindless creatures with uh, no real sense of self. Who became zombies? Also poor hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is so messed up. This is so up. spacist. It's so messed up. Um, so you only got one success. Oh, okay. I did, yes. You get the thresher to start up, but the automated right. systems prevent you from running over people because this is an automated thresher. It's not meant to thresh people. So the threshers don't turn on. Can you jailbreak this thing? <laughs> Get in here! Oh. I got to the building, right? Yeah. I got into the building, right? Yes. <laughs> and we'll describe what it looks like if he joins you. Or Get in here! I, I, I join her. Yeah, that was the intent. You can drive Gosh. the thresher up to the door. Okay. Oh, wow. So you enter the building. Um, I, will I, thought you, I, had, I thought you were going to like turn Actually, around and go after them. No! 
no, no. I just you wanted to get to the... You get in front of the central command building, uh-huh. but there's still cyber zombies pouring out. You can't get Out in of the building? Yes. Oh, so the, joy. The ground floor front entrance is not, not accessible. Are there other entrances? Quick, on the thresher, we'll go in through the second floor. Okay. There you go. Um, you'll need to break the glass, the space glass, the splash. We have lasers. Phasers. I I mean phasers. Variable beam phasers. It'll totally steel. work. Uh, this will be two die la- uh, lasers. Rolls. Is it transparent aluminum? What? Transparent aluminum. Ooh. Star Trek Four. Never mind. Yes. No. no. I don't. I haven't seen. Hello, oh, computer. You young people. Was that the one with the whales? Hello, yes. compute. Okay. It's the best one. Yeah, it really is. It really is. It's the best I think one. I've actually seen of the movies. I've seen the most of that one. And a double dumbass on you. Ooh. What? It's from the movie. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> colorful, uh, colorful metaphors. <laughs> anyway, two dice lasers to shoot the door, uh, the windows open. All right. All right. Uh, One I success. Failed, and I got a laser feeling. Did you get a laser feeling? No. Okay. Um, so the door, the window will open. Um, why don't you ask a question first? Um, I should start thinking about these in advance. And it, it, they're usually best to come up with in the situation because the situation is what determines what you want to ask. It's true, but I'm not going to know what I want to ask until I know what's inside. Oh, hey, what's inside? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that's, yeah, that's a question you can ask. Before we go in. Um, well, you... Theoretically, whatever's controlling the zombies is, is inside. That's a good guess. Because uh, it's the only one with power... Probably top floor. Um, you saw a lot of zombies pour out of it, so there might not be a ton of zombies in your way. If you can get to the elevators or the stairwell, eh, you might have a good shot. But because only one success on your roll in opening the door, mm-hmm. you succeed. The complication is that now there are zombies climbing over the thresher, they're going to be right after you. So you can't backtrack or anything. Okay. okay. So, so we have to go in. Quick, inside, slam the door. It, you shot open a window. You said door. I said window. Oh. You said door. It was transparent aluminum. You said door. We'll, we'll play it back. <laughs> uh, Chris, edit this in. Door. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, Chris. <laughs> Sorry, it's Chris. funnier if you don't. Um, you said door again. <laughs> window. <laughs> I've said window several times now. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> You should open the door window. Because it's space it's door. door. Space door window. Oh my gosh. You should have opened it. It's like the re- behind you. repetition. Yeah. Door, 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 there. door, 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 door. It can't door. be close behind you. Because you shot it open. Say it again. You shot open the window. Say it door. again, Brian. Window. <laughs> Get in the building. <laughs> All right. So we crawl in the window, um, which oh, we man. shot out. We did. And. Um, I want to want to try to barricade it or something. Okay, yeah, that's um, a good idea. This the, the room you're in is like an office uh, sort of space. There's mm-hmm. like cubicles uh, and workstations. Awesome. Let's up into desk and shove it up against the window. Pile a bunch of crap behind it. <laughs> okay, um, that you're going to need to do it fast because they're already like climbing over the thresher and about to get in. Okay, so um, help me. Two D. Okay. Uh, so you want to help him? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I would think so, yes. You're Lasers not really an feelings. expert or prepared. So one dice feelings. Okay. Aww. No. No. Eh. What if I'd done that one? Dang it. So two dice feelings. Okay. Uh, one success. Uh, Yay. Yeah. So um, you barricade the door window window door. Uh, and prevent them from getting any further. However, the elevator dings. And the door is open, and there are more cyber zombies. Good grief. Shoot them. There's got to be another exit. There's a stairway. Is it also full of cyber zombies? No, but it's an emergency st- stairway, so uh, it remains. Uh, it's a stairway. <laughs> right. <laughs> Does it go up to the ceiling? The roof, the, fl- oh, the, the is, floors that we floors? need to access. No, no, there are more there's, than two. How floors. many floors are there? Um, uh, eighty. 
Oh, jeez. Are you serious? And we're on the second floor. And you want us to climb all the way up to the command center. <laughs> You're ex- intrepid space explorers and hotshot pilots. We need that elevator. Let's clear it. It'll be the safest room in this place. We shoot, I shoot, at least, at the, um, at the, how many zombies are coming out of the elevator? Don't say 80. I'm not going to multiply it by 10 this time. <laughs> no. Oh! There are nine zombies. That's like the maximum occupancy load. Yeah. Wow. Um, how did they even figure out how to work the dang thing? How did you think those red shirts got in that clown car? Shuttle. Clown shuttle. <laughs> magic? The magic of story time? Magic of space science. The magic of story space science time. Metaclonians. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. That's where space zombies come from. Metaclorians in the oh, water no. supply. Yeah, it, the, the chemical is metachlorine now. <laughs> metachlorine. Metachlorine, All right, yes. I'm going to do That's something. That's what we shot out at the, the water treatment I'm going to do plant. something really dangerous and stupid. I like it. I'm going to set my phaser to overload. Uh-oh. With a extremely short timer and throw it into the midst of them. You won't have a phaser. I there know. will be more zombies. I know. I like it. And because you're a dangerous intrepid explorer, you've already figured out how to do this. You're prepared to overload your phaser. Yes, I am. Three dice lasers. Oh, dear. I think this is a good cliffhanger. <laughs> one success and one laser feeling. Do you have any questions to ask before you toss your bomb in? Wait, can I help him with this? Yes, you can. You can oh, jailbreak I, it I better. Was... Yeah, I can. Oh, lasers. This is lasers. Dang it. No, I can't. No, you can't. It's running Linux. <sighs> so you... No, Linux is my, my thing, obviously. You're like, wait, before you throw... Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's right. You, you you keep downloading those factory updates and those those ra- and visiting those those sites that pop up and say click on me. Those, those games for funs, for fun good times. Um, space times, space mm-hmm. times. Yes. Yeah. It's, time works different in space because there's no no gravity. Fun space to hold time it down. continuums. How could I get these zombies to all stop attacking? Mm, that'd be good. Um, a, you could kill them. That's simple, if you have a phaser. Um, B, you could shut down what's ever controlling them. That's not so simple because it's 78 floors up. C, there's another elevator. He didn't tell us about the other elevator. He didn't ask. You we just see one elevator about this, for, right? through the doorway. We do get to whine about this. <laughs> you can whine about it, yeah. <laughs> it's a bay of Well, it's an 80-foot building. It should have more than one. Uh, the only problem is you're still going to have to get yeah. past the zombies, co- the nine zombies coming out of the yellow phaser. That's not going to be a problem because my uh, my phaser just exploded. Yes, just taking them out. So uh, so uh, an, an explosion happens. The, mm-hmm. the zombies are thrown away, and you see it, extras are catapulted in the set. Hey! Yeah, we get good, good, good screams. But sparks everywhere. We, we haven't had sparks yet. That's important. Been on yeah, show. that's true. That's true. Um, and you run through the smoke and debris and reach the other elevator and punch in floor 80. Nice. And the doors close, credits roll, and elevator music plays. Space, space music. Space music. Next time on Lasers and Feelings. I don't know. This has been Roll With It Unplugged, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The GM for this episode is Brian McKittrick, running Lasers and Feelings by John Harbour of 1-7 Design. The players are Adam Doc Bracken and Sarah Wells. Your producer is Chris Kruger. For the Backward Compatible crew, thank you for listening. Door.